Hey cruisers, I'm Sherry with CruiseTipsTV.com. One of my favorite things to do here on our channel is to pack with you. This is so fun. We've been doing it for gosh, almost eight or nine years now and I absolutely love it. I love it because we get to share good information with you. We get to share what's changed about cruising and also it usually means that I'm going on a cruise, right? So that's pretty exciting. I think it's been about six months since we've done one of these and we are headed to the Mexican Riviera on Carnival Miracle for six nights night cruise. Now this particular packing video is super applicable if you're going to a warm weather destination like the Mexican Riviera, the Caribbean, Bahamas, Bermuda, places like that. This is going to work out just great for you. This packing list is not designed if you're going somewhere chilly like Alaska, but there will be a lot of great tips and tricks in the video that will apply, just maybe not as much the clothing portion. We're gonna do things a little bit different today. I'm really excited about this. In every packing video, we always try to mix things up for you. One of the main things about today's video is that a lot of our packing supplies are new. We did not replace our suitcases, but we replenished a lot of different things like my carry-on bag, uh, toiletry bags, jewelry cases, things like that. So you're going to be seeing brand new things and all of that stuff will be linked down below on our website so that you can easily shop it and check it out. Also, I have lots of new clothes from Amazon. Uh, lots of things that you can shop for men and women, mostly women, but a few things for men. So you're gonna want to navigate to our Amazon shop, which is amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash cruise tips TV and go to the area that says cruise fashion and you can find all that good stuff. Another thing that's different about this cruise is that masks at the moment are not required on Carnival Cruise Line. Again, we are filming this April 2022. That could change. They are required, I'm sorry, in the terminal, but not on the cruise ship. I hope I said that correctly from the beginning, but I'll repeat it again. They are not required on the cruise ship in most cases, but they are required during embarkation and debarkation in the terminal. So that's important for you to know that we are packing a few masks for that purpose, but not for the whole entire cruise like we have before. Also, this cruise is a little shorter. It's a six-nighter instead of seven, so we're gonna make it a tiny bit lighter, but not a huge amount. Another thing we're doing differently is because we wanna keep it light, and because we've been on a lot of Carnival cruises lately, we're not actually packing things for theme nights, like the mega deck party where you'd wear white, or uh, the 80s parties. We've done them several times in the last year, and and while we love them, this cruise is a little bit more about rest, so we're leaving that stuff at home. And lastly, what we're doing differently is we're gonna go a little more granular on what's in my carry-on bag, and we're gonna provide you with an on-screen list of exactly what is in my carry-on bag, because I think that that gives people a little bit of anxiety sometimes, like, what do I need to take with me? on you know day one when I'm getting on the ship. So we're going to get started right now. This is gonna be a lot of fun. A lot of the products that you see behind me are some of the newer items that I've bought. All of the clothing is over here. We're gonna do clothing last, and we're going to start this packing video with our carry-on bag because like I mentioned, a lot of times that's of great concern to people. So I want to tell you exactly what is in my carry-on bag. Now I'm taking a laptop. So unfortunately, a lot of this space in this bag is gonna be laptop later but it's not in there yet. So we're just gonna pretend like that's not happening because hopefully most of you don't need to take a laptop. But if you do, this wonderful new bag that I got that of course we're gonna link to has a beautiful laptop holder in it, a laptop area that is just beautiful. It's a nice sleeve that I can tuck everything into. You can kind of see it right here beneath this strap. So it's gonna protect my laptop and keep it safe. The second thing that we are going to be taking um, on uh, on board on that day one is some face masks. So I have the face mask kind of tucked into a little pocket inside this bag. This bag is so nice because it has a lot of great little pockets in it. The next thing that you're going to find I have in here are our boarding documents. I'm not packing my usual cruise binder this time because it's a short cruise and we just don't need that much space for paperwork. So what I've done instead is I'm just taking two small folders with our boarding documents. This will hold our COVID tests and our boarding passes, things like that, luggage tags, what have you. We are also, of course, going to be taking our 
passports and our vaccine cards. And those are going to go in this passport neck wallet for this particular instance. Next up, I do have some toiletries that I'm taking with me. I don't know what it is about day one, but I just really like to keep my toiletries with me. So I've got two TSA approved bags, not because I'm flying, I'm not. We're actually driving to port. I don't need TSA bags, but what's so great about these is that they're clear. So when I get on the ship, I just take them out of my carry-on bag and I put them on the bathroom shelf. And whenever I'm ready, I can unpack them. But if I don't want to unpack them on night one or even day one, I can see what's inside and really easily access it. So let me tell you exactly what is in these little toiletry bags that are going in my carry-on bag. This one holds my shampoo and conditioner, lots and lots of sunscreen products. Mostly that's what's in this one. This one contains toothpaste, first aid ointment, some detergent, body lotion, shaving cream, perfume, night cream, day cream for the face. So anything else that's liquid is going to be in this one. So we're about halfway through, I'd say, the carry-on bag. We have just a few more items left. I also have some medications in here tucked into a little bag. We just recently discovered these awesome little bags from Ziploc that are just so cute. They come in packs of 10 and 15 and lots of different designs. So what I've done is I've put, I've kind of compartmentalized a lot of my stuff into these. So I have some basic medications and first aid items in this one here. And next up, we are going to be packing our sunglasses in my carry-on. So I have sunglasses for the whole family in here, and that's pretty handy. Another thing I didn't mention is I also have a pen with my boarding documents. Always, it's like going on an airplane. You always want to take a pen with you. It's such a good idea. I also have a full baggie of our favorite hand sanitizing wipes, Santa Hands. These are amazing. They're alcohol-based. They really make your hands feel clean without feeling gooey. And I don't really like hand sanitizing gels, so these these are fantastic. I think you guys are going to love these. It's no surprise that we have those in our carry-on bag, right? But how easy will it be to reach for these all week long as I need them? All right, what else? I know that there's more. Ah, another item that we've packed in the carry-on bag is an empty water bottle to use on board. So we can refill, get icy drinks, cold drinks, hot drinks. So this particular water bottle is one I can use for cold drinks and hot drinks. My friends, I think that that is everything in my carry-on bag. Of course, my laptop is not inside just yet, but I'm really happy with this bag. I feel like I can fit quite a bit into it. I'm gonna hold it up for you for just a moment and give you a quick look at this. Another thing that's terrific about this carry-on bag, if you've seen it on Amazon Live before, you're going to know that I love these trolley sleeves. As you can see, I'm gonna pop my hand through it. This can be, um, oops, it's got a little shoe bag in there. This can be slid over your trolley handle on your suitcase. And so since we are going to have one rolling suitcase with us on our boarding day, I'm gonna just slide that over the luggage handle. And then I don't have to deal with all of this weight, right? Like you don't wanna be carrying something like that around. You need to like get it off of your shoulders. So I'm really excited that it has that sleeve. Okay, what did you guys think about everything in my carry-on bag? I hope I didn't forget anything. If I did, let me know down in the comments. Maybe you uh, can think of something that you also pack that you put in there that's really essential and you wanna help others, go ahead and type it into the comments. We'd love to hear from you. Now we're gonna move on to some miscellaneous stuff that's going to be going in my suitcase that's not in there yet. This is just a whole lot of wacky different things that I'm going to be packing with me that I think you should know that I'm taking. One of them is this One Beat non-surge power strip. It has this great flat plug that we love. It's got a five foot cord. It has three three AC plugs, three standard USB plugs, and one USB-C plug. This has replaced our former non-surge power strip and USB hub combo. We pretty much use this one exclusively. Sometimes Mr. Cruise Tips TV will also take a USB hub to charge things on occasion, but this bad boy is our main man these days. Next up, I have a little mesh bag full of what I call stateroom essentials. In here, I have a few extra strong wall magnets because as we know, on cruise ships, the walls in your stateroom are most likely metal. And because they are metal, 
they are also magnetic and magnets stick to them. This is an excellent tip for um, getting more storage out of your room, keeping the clutter off of the countertops and everything just looks better. So we've got the magnets. I also have some sticky notes in here for leaving notes for my family or my room steward. And lastly, I have a few lanyards to put our cruise cards on. So I could potentially pack this little bag into my carry-on for the day. I haven't really decided yet. Probably don't need to. The only thing I think I'll be missing is those lanyards in there. A lot of times it's nice to just get your card onto a lanyard so you don't have to pull it in and out of your pockets. But for now, I'm planning on putting this in my checked luggage. Another thing that I have that I'm using those cute little Ziploc bags for, I just love these. They're so cute. They're sturdy, but they're compact, is our favorite liquid IV. I'm gonna show you this stuff and tell you a little bit about it, but first let me grab the full size containers. So one of the things that we mentioned in our last packing video that's really important to us these days when cruising is staying hydrated, staying nourished, making sure that you are boosting your natural immunity in any way possible. So we are big fans of Liquid IV. This is basically an electrolyte drink and a hydration multiplier. It really helps you out if you are maybe going somewhere that's really warm and you're gonna be sweating a lot, doing active excursions. And some people actually use this if they're consuming a lot of alcohol too, like for hangovers and things like that. I don't really use it for that purpose, but it is wonderful for so many different things and we love liquid IV. We have an awesome discount code for you. It's in the description. But if you'd rather just go to liquidiv.com and type in the code, it's Cruise Tips TV and I believe it's 25% off. They have a limited edition flavor called Cotton Candy. It's probably not going to last for long, but it's really good. But our day-to-day -day flavor of liquid IV and what's really filling this packet is the energy multiplier. This is actually a lemon ginger flavored green tea drink. So it has a little bit of caffeine in it and Mr. Cruz Tips TV loves it. Now Junior and I also really love this emergency turmeric and ginger daily immune support with botanicals in it. These little teeny tiny packets are very easy to pour into a small amount of water and drink. And again, we're boosting our immunity. So what I've done is I've taken a bunch of these little packets and placed them in here. So stay hydrated. If you're interested, check out one of these products. These are in our Amazon store. These are on the Liquid IV website and you are going to love both of them. And you're just gonna feel a little bit better knowing that you're boosting your immunity. Also, we're taking hats for the whole family. We are possibly going to be doing a horseback riding excursion on this trip, two hours in sunny Cabo San Lucas, and we really feel we need to protect our face from the sun. So we're definitely taking hats this time. I know that I have my new tradition of buying a new hat on every cruise ship, but I'm getting a little nervous about that tradition because I, lately I haven't been finding a hat fast enough for when I need it. So I'm packing one, and if I can find a hat, that's just an extra super bonus. All right, nerd alert with this next item. My husband bought a new fanny pack on Amazon and I know fanny packs are sort of making a comeback. Even though they're like full on nerd status, you guys, there is a time and a place for a good waist pack or fanny pack. And I'm gonna tell you right now that a horseback riding shore excursion or an excursion where you do not have access to your hands, like I should have my hands on the reins most of the time, this is something that will be great for keeping my phone, camera, maybe even a little bit of water and just some, a small amount of supplies around my waist. I know it's nerdy, but I'm packing it and I'll let you guys know if I actually end up using it. <laughs> the jury's out. You never know, I might, I might feel a little uncomfortable, but we shall see. Okay, next up, I do want to show you all of my new goodies from Amazon. Oh, this stuff is so fun, you guys. All of this is kind of just cheering me up. You know how sometimes buying new stuff for a trip just makes you so happy and it gives you something to have fun with? Well, I went all out a couple of months ago and I bought all new supplies for myself, starting with this makeup bag. Since we're not leaving just yet, this is empty. I haven't put my makeup in it yet, but it's going to be in here soon and I'll show you the inside of this bag. You can see it has a few mesh pockets, places to put your brushes. This is just the right size for me and I love a couple of other things about it. It has a handle and it has an outer zip pocket. So if I'd like, I can put my brushes in this outer pocket or some extra accessories. Whatever it is that I wanna do, I can put stuff in there. 
Next up, I know you guys are gonna be really surprised that I actually made a change in this area, but I got myself a new tech accessory organizer. And this is from the same brand. It's that nice pink quilted color, but believe me, all of this quilted stuff comes in multiple colors. Of course, you don't have to buy pink, but you can see that I have all my cables and charging stuff in here, which is really handy. Next up, I also got a new jewelry organizer, and this is so cool. I've been excited to share this with you all because it has so many neat features. So the first feature over here is that it has a place to hang your necklaces and your bracelets. So you kind of snap them in here and then you feed them down and they don't get tangled. This one was too big to feed in, but that's okay. It's got a pocket for storing some, um, you know, whatever you want to store in the pocket. And then over here, check this out. It has an earring card. So I have, I don't wear earrings earrings much. I only have one pair of earrings I'm taking, but I put my earrings there and I put my ring and my extra ring on the ring holder. Isn't this great? So I love this new toy and I'm excited to introduce it to you today. I also got a new toiletry bag. I love my e-bags packet flat. It's still wonderful, but I really wanted to experiment with something new. So here it is folks, my new toiletry bag. This is a beauty. There's a lot going on in here. As you can see, there is so much in here. It has to have a hanger for me, that's critical. But I'm really maximizing this space. And please remember, I'm packing for my whole family. So if it seems like we have a lot of stuff, we do. This is for my whole family. Clorox wipes, Q-tips up here, sunscreen brushes, powder, and hair stuff here. Uh, toothbrushes and razors and deodorant here, and just chapsticks and extra toothpaste down there. That's pretty much it. So those are all of my new kind of accessory holders, you could say. I'm gonna put these back and get them out of the main area and then we'll move on to our next area. Uh, also, we're taking soda, taking bubbly for myself, Diet Dr. Pepper for my husband. Those are gonna go in half of a suitcase. So if you see those down there, that's why. These are my husband's packing cubes. So let's start with what's inside of these packing cubes and talk about clothing for the next little while. My husband uses the e-bags medium set of packing cubes. And inside, I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. I know he won't mind if I do that. I'm just gonna kind of show you how neat and tidy his packing is without making everything fall out. As you can see, this is where he's got his t-shirts, his underwear, his shorts, and his socks. All of it is folded really neatly in here. And he's packing really light, you guys, because of the fact that we can do laundry on Carnival, and because we're platinum on Carnival, we get two bags of free laundry on our cruise. Just really tempting to underpack a little bit. In this bag, he has his jeans and his pants and a few more t-shirts. I'm not gonna open it because it's tightly packed in there, and I might have a little bit of a hard time getting um, everything out. But now I want to show you his clothing. I'm gonna bring all of this just a little tiny bit closer to me and we'll show you a little bit of his clothing. Mr. Cruz Tips TV, you guys, is doing something that he doesn't typically do. He's actually taking a jacket, a sport coat on this one, and he got this on Amazon recently. We recommend sizing down in this nice jacket. He's not gonna wear a tie for formal nights, but he is gonna wear this jacket. It took a little experimenting to get the size right, but it's new, it's different. So what do you guys think about this jacket? Isn't it nice? It's really fashionable. And then he's going to take two collared shirts. Here they are. Just basic, nice, kind of a slimmer fit collared shirt in basic colors. And then he has two shirts for formal nights. No ties this time. Like I mentioned, he's just going with a sport coat. And then he's taking these formal pants. And as you can see, he has his belt. Don't want to forget your belt, guys. It's a common thing that people forget. And he has some dressy shoes. I'll show you the shoes a little bit later. All right, so that was Mr. Cruz Tips TV's packing. He's got two packing cubes now. That will turn into three when all of that stuff goes into the cubes. So now we're going to briefly talk about Junior. I don't have all of his stuff out because some of it's in the laundry, but I'm just gonna show you his hanging things and tell you what's in his packing cubes. He's gonna have shorts, t-shirts, goggles, underwear, socks, and a denim jacket. He's a kid. He's really simple to pack for. He needs a hat and sunglasses too. Other than that, there's nothing crazy to show. But Junior also has a little linen jacket this time. The boys are gonna look really great. And we are packing for him because we're going to the Mexican Riviera. 
and you need some cooler weather stuff, this is what's gonna keep him warm. His little denim jacket is his favorite way to stay warm. And then he just has four basic shirts for little boys in a variety of different colors and styles. These can be reworn, washed and ironed, and worn with his formal night stuff. So that is what we're packing for the boys. We got through that, I think in under five minutes. We'll probably spend a little bit more time on my clothes because that's typically how these things go. So are you ready? Are you ready to see my stuff? First up, I got new packing cubes. Let me go ahead and bring these over here. I had told all of you that I wanted these pink flamingo packing cubes from Begale. I got them, I love them. And I'm gonna show you what we have in each of these and then I'll show you the rest of the stuff, which honestly, most of my stuff is still on hangers. Um, I don't pack it until after we do this video because I wanna show you in detail. But this is my underwear, bras, sleep mask, and socks. So nobody can ask, did you forget your underwear? Happens every video. I didn't forget my underwear, it's in there. <laughs> and then in here I have pajamas and I have workout wear, a couple of sports bras, a few cozy t-shirts, just things for maybe just running to grab that first morning cup of coffee when it's kind of chilly out, you know, and you need cozy clothes. That's kind of my cozy clothes. So those are my new packing cubes. This bag, I'm in love with, but I don't know if I'm taking it yet. If you want to shop this bag, it's cute as can be. Um, it's found in our Amazon store, but what concerns me about it for these trips is it doesn't zip up. So it's usually my farmer's market bag, just so you guys kind of have a general idea. Okay, let's take a deeper and closer look at all of the clothing that I'm taking. Yeah, when I say we're packing light, I'm going carry on only, but I'm not going ultra super light on this one. So bear with me and have a little patience because you guys know I love clothes. And once I get on the cruise, I'm gonna take lots of photos of them, especially if they're from Amazon, and make sure that you all get to see photos. So the first thing I wanna show you is this really cute Bon Voyage hat. They have so many different um, messages on these hats. If you like this, check it out in our store. It's really cute. I'm gonna take this with me. I'm not always a floppy hat person, but there was just something calling my name this time. I did forget to mention that Junior is going to be carrying this backpack. It's actually a gift from Wendy at Dream Vacations, our partner travel agency. You could check her out in the description of this video too. But Junior's packing his book he's gonna read and his iPad and a few school items in this, but also we're gonna use this for shore excursions. So we're kind of doing some double duty here with his backpack, that's actually different. Another fun thing I got for this one was, oh, you guys, I scored and found this adorable compact purse. It's Kate Spade, $35 at Marshall's last weekend. So I'm going to convert my purse for the cruise to a very small amount of stuff. My credit card and driver's license are going in here and I'm gonna take very minimal stuff for my purse. Leave my bigger wallet at home because I don't really carry a purse around the ship. So for boarding day, this will be my purse. My embarkation day outfit is what I'm going to show you next. This shirt is from Amazon. I wear these all the time. It's a cute off the shoulder top, comes in dozens of colors. And I got these gorgeous pants. They're bold, they're wild. Got them from Stitch Fix. They match that shirt perfectly. They are cut from the cloth brand. I do not have a link. They were a little bit of a splurge, but they fit like a dream. So I'm gonna be dressed like an Easter egg for <laughs> for embarkation day and I don't care. I'm excited about it. Also because it's April in California, it's not summer weather yet guys. It's not time to leave home the, the pants and the hoodies. I am going to be taking a pair of, um, a pair of pants. I have these cute cargo like kind of olive green pants from a brand called Pistola. These were also from Stitch Fix. And I'm also going to take either this light jacket or a hoodie, I don't know which one yet, I have to kind of look and see what matches, but trust me when I tell you, in April in California, it can be very cold on deck. California is not 80 degrees year round, and your first two days down and the days coming back up, there's gonna be some cold weather if you're going to the Mexican Riviera. So you wanna plan accordingly, unless it's like August or September, you really need to do that. I got a cute little um, jumpsuit at Walmart actually. You can't really see the whole thing, but you can get a general idea. It's a pants jumpsuit. And I tried it on at Walmart. I think I got this one in 
think it's pretty true to size. I got it in a small and it's really cute. Again, for those morning coffee runs, it can pair really well with a hoodie. So check this out at Walmart if you're interested. And then I have a whole bunch of new dresses from Amazon that I want to show you for this one. Um, first, I'm gonna show you what I what's old and not from Amazon. This is from Target years ago. It's a cute jumpsuit for formal night. Can't get a link for you anymore, but it is very cute. But let's go through all the Amazon dresses. Here we go. This is really difficult to show you on camera because it looks like a big piece of material. But basically, it's almost like a bat wing dress with a skinny dress underneath. So it's really pretty for formal night or with wedges for a regular night on the ship. And I love the navy color, blue, something I like to wear, and I'm excited about it. I wore this one last cruise as well, but this is a great Amazon product. It's a cute little dress that I could wear to a white deck party or a day in Mexico. It does need to be ironed, which drives me nuts, but I sure love the embroidery on it, and I'll make sure that this is linked for you in the cruise fashion section of our website. Next up from our Vivimos on Amazon, another one of these really cute dresses. They're very plungy, but you can tie them up and they fit really snug across the top. So be sure to size up in this one if you do buy it. And then I think this might be my fave. Oh, my last cruise. I wore this in black on formal night. I decided to buy it in this bold blue. It's so pretty. It was under $35 and I just love it for a formal evening. So I'm gonna pair this with my formal shoes and enjoy. And then I have this little romper. It's actually kind of a, a shorts romper underneath the dress in a pretty green, ties in the back. This could be formal night or a regular dinner. I have no idea, we're gonna find out. And then I got another one of those off the shoulder tops from Amazon. They tie in the front, very, very cute. I'm gonna pair this with white jean shorts and a cute off the shoulder top that you really, it's actually a one shoulder top, so it kinda ties over this side, if you will. Also going to be paired with white or jean shorts. Another cute top from Amazon just for mornings around the ship or those cooler days paired under a light jacket with some jeans. These are great, come in a million different colors. And that's pretty much it for the regular wear. I have a whole bunch of jean shorts here, three pairs of jean shorts, a whole bunch of tank tops, and a rash guard here. And then I'm going to show you some other swim type things from Amazon. So this swim cover up, there's really not much to it. It's just crocheted fabric. Don't count on much coverage for this one, but it has a beautiful, dipped back and I got this on Amazon and I'm excited to wear it with this swimsuit from last season at Old Navy. And then the last two items I wanna show you are these new rompers to wear as swim cover-ups from Amazon. Lots of different styles and prints available. All right, so I think we got through all of the clothes. I'm taking a quick look around. I think we've covered everything for this packing video. Thankfully, I have just a few more days to take a look at things and see if I'm forgetting anything, but we're really excited. I feel like I'm a little rusty because it's been about five or six months since we've been on a cruise, but we're really excited to get out there and experience the Mexican Riviera on a ship that has been newly renovated basically since the pandemic. We would love to invite you to follow along on our journey at instagram.com forward slash cruise tips TV, or of course, facebook.com forward slash cruise tips TV. We will be telling the story of our cruise, of course, here on YouTube when we get back. Watch for live streams in case we can pull them off. And we appreciate you watching. Let us know some of your favorite packing secrets in the comments down below, friends. And until next time, we'll see you on the high seas.